A very good morning to you, my beadlet. I am so excited today. I got these beauties here and I'm just like, we got an array of colors. We got, you know us, like we, you can't just have two colors. We have to have so many different colors to play with. Now, um, this bracelet is kind of like, I guess, a joint effort. We did Hubble Stitch in a Bead Club. Oh, like quite some time ago probably about towards the end of last year and one of our members uh, diane you know diane she's in she's in the chat all the time she came up with so she's taken it to the next level and instead of just using seed beads what we're using for the hubble stitch she included some crystals as well and i really really loved the look how it looked so i got in touch with her and actually i have to say a massive thank you to her because she made all of these amazing samples up and i just really cannot wait to show it to you we got so many beautiful colors i love this stitch how it makes a really nice sort of beaded fabric and we're going to be doing bracelets and today not long we got an offer on there but it's even though it's just like using crystals, it's still quite a very reasonable make. I'm just very quickly going to say hello and I'm going to pop you over to the website, show it on the website. But more importantly, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the real samples because that's those these beauties are here just look really, really great. So let's quickly pop over to the website so I can show it to you all very very quickly so by now you know the drill you're going to go to totallybeads.co.uk and let me just go back to the main page so you land on this page and then either going to click on this big button here saying video tutorials or you're going to go into categories and you're going to go into video tutorials from there and today is diane's bracelet so we called the bracelet diane after all lovely lovely diane and i'm hoping she's here i know she had things to do today so i'm hoping she is um gonna pop in and say hello so we got so many different colors so your kit includes your seed beads your crystals and i'm just gonna pop into this antique amethyst which is by the way <laughs> one of my favorite colors uh, so you get your Tahoe size 11 seed beads, you got your 2 by 3 millimeter crystal rondel beads, you got magnetic slider clubs. If you need needle and thread, then please add that onto your order separately. We like, kind of like sometimes if you're not using something like a very special thread, I like to keep it that way. So just keep the cost down because let's face it, most of us have got super long size D thread at home in many different colors. So just really keeping the cost down there for you. So shall we quickly have a look at the colorways? I'm just gonna come back a page. There we go. Shall I not in the middle? So we do have an antique amethyst, which is a really nice, really, really, really nice color. I'll show you just in a second. I'll show you in real life. Then we got aqua, we got black diamond, of course. I love I love my black diamond color. We got brilliant blue, we got cream, we got denim blue, we got earth, we got lilac, we got mauve, we got mermaid, and we have monochrome nebula. I love the nebula. We got pink, we got rose gold, we got sea green, we got silver dust, tanzanite, and teal. So there is 18 colors to choose from. So we have given you or loads and loads of different colors. Right, I'm gonna come back to the website, but and the, come back to me, and then I'm gonna straight go down to the mat and I'm gonna show you these beautiful colors. So let me just go here. Okay, so I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm just zooming out. There we go. I got all the colors here. What? Just move them up a little bit that i need to show you they are really really beautiful i don't even know which one to start with which one to show you first like while while we like looking at the colors and i'm gonna bring some up and show it to you closer um just want to quickly say hello Molly, good morning leanne annie miranda camille 
Um, Camille is saying blue skies again. Yes, blue skies and sunny here as well. It's um, I I must go for a walk. I haven't really been out of the house. Well, I've been out in the garden, but like I haven't really been out of the house since Saturday. So I think this afternoon I might, if the weather keeps nice and warm, I might go for a cheeky walk. Um, good morning, Helen, Miranda, Judith, Lorna, Gwen, Joe, Bethan, Lucy, Elaine. Oh, Lucy saying Dan is amazing. Yes, she is absolutely amazing. We love her so much. She's a very, very valued member of the community. Good morning, Camille. Camille? Not Camille. Camille. <laughs> I don't know, where's my words today? And I am actually running out of coffee, so I only got about three sips left. So I'm going to have to be very sparing when I have my coffee today. I didn't have time to go and make a new a fresh batch. Um, good morning, Van. This is a sunny Felix Don. Good morning, Sue. Camille, Pamela, Lucy already popped the link in there for you. Morning, Jean. <laughs> Say, wow, all these colors. Diane has been busy. Absolutely. She has been super, super busy. Morning, Anne, Pauline, Susan. Video keeps interrupting. Do let me know if there is any problem with the video. There is no problem on my end. But if you do have any problems, then do let me know if it's just two or Perhaps anybody else is um, having the same problem. Morning, Karen, Lucy. Um, it froze for a split second at the beginning. It should be okay now. Okay, so if there is anything, anything happens, just let me know. Morning, Sharon, Rachel, Camille, Angela, Gwen. Oh, there is Diane. Morning, they look okay. The, Diane, they don't look okay. They look fantastic. And thank you so much for doing them for us. Oh, she said I didn't realize it's going to have made. Of course. Well, you, you made it up. It was, it was kind of like a joint effort, but you made, you done all the hard work. So of course it's going to have your name. Um, morning, Elaine, Victoria, Angela, Victoria, Camille, Diane. Video crackling. Hmm. Um, maybe one of those things. Good morning, Geraldine from a sunny Dublin. I hope like so if, if, Give it a couple of minutes and if the video keep persisting crackling then i might need to restart the stream or i don't know what i'm gonna have to do but we're gonna have to see what we can do to um to make it better some i i've been having problem with the internet for quite some time right okay um susan is saying good morning nice to join live today i'm looking forward to learning this stitch i love this stitch i love this stitch so much and Sue said she went for a walk on the river yesterday, ended up stopping for a pint in Pack of Crisp at the turn point, turnaround point. Oh, that's, those are the best, aren't they? When you like walk like two, three miles and just like sit down for a couple of, um, I don't know, hours maybe. <laughs> and, then start walk, and then then start walking back. Right, okay. So, that, let's quickly go through the colorways. I'm very quickly going to point out which colorway each watch. I got all the colorways here. So, the, this is like too many colors to do a little bit of a race with. But, what we can do, like if there is a color what you like, like the most, or you can see the most, then let me know and we'll demo with that one. So, first up is Antique Amethyst, which is this one. So, this color is more like a taupey come on camera i want you to focus on my hand are you gonna focus on my hand there we go so more like a taupey amethyst color but it's very very pale so it's definitely that got that antique rose that antique antique color in there i would say more like a taupe and then with a hint of amethyst in there so that was the first one the second one is going to be the aqua which is this one i do really love 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 oh no sorry you, no that's the, that's the right one <laughs> we got two that one is a slightly different i do love this color come on camera do really love this color as well next one up is the black diamond which is this one i love i really do love black diamond the seed beads called black diamond and the crystals called black diamond as well it's just a really beautiful color it kind of goes with everything next up is the brilliant blue and actually i'm going to zoom in a little bit and then i can show it to you better so the camera doesn't keep have to focus in and out so brilliant blue 
there we go i love this color this is perfect with jeans and like all sorts of different things um i love it's not too bright because the seed beads are a little bit um more of a, a softer color but the crystals are are really nice and blue <laughs> this is saying they're all my favorite right next one is the cream now with the cream we have put a slightly gray um pearls but the pearls that not not pearls i need a sip of my coffee <laughs> come in heaven send it to me So the next one is this beautiful cream and this cream has got this gray crystals with it but the crystals have got a beautiful sheen youtube cut off okay so let's have a look what we can do if i i'm just going to uh, uh, uh just give me one sec Is it getting any better now? I'm just like shutting all applications, everything off on my computer, whatever was there. I'm quitting everything, maybe to see if it's my computer. If it's not my computer, then it could be my internet connection, which is nothing much I can do about that. But I'm just going to shut all applications down, which is open. So let, let's keep going on. Do let me know if from this point it has improved a little bit. Right, okay, so next color, last one was the cream, next one is the denim blue. I love a denim blue because, like, look, I'm wearing gray today, like, my like, gray top here. Denim blue would go with grays as well, but equally it will go with blues as well. So this, this one is a very slight of hint of blue, but it has got a touch of gray in it. So it, it does, it, it does really look very nice. Right, next one is Earth. I was really, when I was naming them all, I wasn't really sure, like, I, I called the other dark one Nebula, and I wasn't really sure how to call this one because the beads are just so beautiful, and putting the matte seed beads against the crystals just really makes the crystals shine up. I really do love, love, love this one. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. So the seed beads are like iris brown and the crystals are gold in this one. Right, next one is the lilac. I love, 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 love this lilac with the rainbow crystals. And um, I, I think actually the seed beads are called light grape. But again, this is a very, very beautiful, beautiful color. Next one is the mauve. Now the mauve. We ha I have put darker clusters, so you can see, like both of, perhaps for example, both of these colors are very similar, but gives you a very different texture because here we use really dark crystals in the mauve and in the lilac we blended it in with the rainbow one. Next one is the mermaid pink. I do love, I lo do love those crystals. I do love that mermaid pink color. Um, sometimes I like to have blend the crystals in and sometimes i do love them too that they stand out right next one is the monochrome so we got gray and black here together again a very classic color goes with a lot of different things hold on i've still got a few more to go through let me know if the quality of the stream is improved or is still cutting out please um so i can go and i don't know why it's like an adjust but um you see this one is the pink I do really love those very soft pink seed beads against these beautiful sparkly crystals. Next one is the rose gold. Now we had to have a rose gold, didn't we? <laughs> we can't like rose gold. It's just so it's just such a lovely color. Um, I wasn't quite sure of it like a couple of years ago, but as um, as the um, like you know, as I've been working more and more with rose gold. Then I started to like it more and more and more. I just need to get my jumper off. It's a bit warm down here. Right, sea green. Next one is our sea green. You know, I love all sea greens and blues, um, sea blues, all of these beautiful colors. Really, really lovely color. 
next one is silver dust now this is another beautiful color because it just got a touch of silver i guess in there and this kind of color is goes with everything so you can wear it with blues we can wear it with purples pinks a lot of different outfits will will go with because it's very very neutral next one is the tanzanite you know me i love a tanzanite color this is purple with like a hint of like sort of a dusty purple but i really i, I really love 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 this one Donny saying lovely for weddings, absolutely. Next one is the teal. I love this color as well. Teas and aquas and blues are my absolute favorite. And last but not least, we have got this beautiful nebula. So this is again, you got matte seed beads with very shiny crystals. And I just sometimes like, it's nice to put shiny seed beads with shiny crystals, but sometimes if you want to make them stand out, then put matte seed beads with crystals the same as the other one we called us on earth where you have got those matte seed beads with the crystals they are just really really beautiful right okay so which one <laughs> which one are we going to demo with now i got all of these bracelets here which one which one are we going to demo they're all really really beautiful um i'm probably going to have to pick one and i'm not very good like just picking one so um i'm not really sure which one is showing up the best i think that is quite dark just quickly going to have a look through this is probably the crystals doesn't stand out enough on that one we could how about this one that one stands out nicely just that could be a possibility Camille is saying cream please yeah the cream shows up quite nicely as well Again, blending in, I think, with that color. Any of the dusty and light colors are going to. Denim blue is gorgeous, absolutely. That's 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 the denim blue. Um, we are better off with something stronger. So I think either one of those two. Let's have a look at the pink. And the pink shows up quite nicely as well. But I think the, um, they will be, I think this will be too dark as well. You can see it, but I think um, it will be more about the blue. Um, blue will show up as well. <laughs> like the blue, blue. Let's just have a look at these. Yeah, I think we got those stronger colors. Like not stronger colors, but these are silver line seed beads. And in these ones, they are opaque seed beads, opaque luster. And then big as well so they are you can see them easier yeah absolutely i think we need to go with one of each so uh, what, what, one of each yeah <laughs> we need to make one of each today so we're gonna go with one of these colors so we have got pink we have got mauve i think <laughs> hang on one second let me just i don't want to give you the wrong name yes mauve I just had a little bit of a brain freeze there. So we got pink, we got mauve, we got cream, and we got blue. They are the colors which show up the best. So do let me know in the comments right now which one do you want me to demo with? Blue, cream, mauve, or pink? These are the ones who show up the best to demo with. I got all 18 of them here, so we could do any of them really. So Gwen is saying blue. Rachel is saying blue. Good morning from Cape Town. Oh, magnificent spring day in Cape Town. It's really nice and sunny here as well today. Um, pink with purple. Um, aqua. <laughs> pink, blue. We got more cream and blue together. Oh yes, we could actually blend two different kits together. How about that? That that could be. We could we could do that. Irish green. <laughs> I should be saying, pink please. Mauve, mauve. Mauve, we got our mauve is coming up. Blue, pink, blue, 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 cream, mauve. I think it's going to be between the mauve and the blue. Mauve stands out more. So I think mauve, blue is my favorite. Bernie's saying, but mauve. So I think mauve has got, mauve has won. Most of you said mauve. So I'm just going to grab those beads out. 
and we're gonna start the make right where is my mode there we go all the bags are labeled up <laughs> i've written it all on them so i am so very easy very basic materials we're going to using here is just crystals and size 11 Doho seed beads and a three strand a three um loop <laughs> magnetic slider class we're going to be using i'm just going to grab some thread there we go grab a needle thread it up and we're going to start the making so with hubble stitch and while i'm threading my thread i'm just going to tell you a couple of things about um, hubble stitch so hubble stitch was developed by melanie de Meagle. She's a very talented um, British bead art designer. She has got a couple of books out there. So if you do, I should have, should have given you some links. I'll pop, I'll pop in afterwards and um, pop a post on there for her. But um, she's played around with Hubble Stitch quite a lot and written a couple of books around, books around it. It's kind of a variation of right angle weave, but it's like you have to turn to different angles. So it is a very, very beautiful stitch to work. And once you get going, you will know like row by row, you're doing the same thing. Really easy to do. So I am going to start with... The first, very first row, which only going to be my seed beads. I'm going to just take a few more crystals off. So we got a few row worth. So I'm going to gonna start a couple of arm spam of thread. Now you don't really need to leave your bobbin on for this one because um, you can only continue one way with the stitch but um, I'm leaving it on there for now just to act as a stopper so I'm going to start off by picking up seven seed beads one two three four five six seven and I'm going to take all of these seven down then I'm going to go through all seven of them one more time just to form a nice and strong base there we go pull it into a nice little circle so i'm right by my tail right now and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go up in the first three seed beads one more time i think i'm gonna have to zoom in for you so you can see it much better there we go so i'm gonna just pop these out of the way so add with the camera a little bit so we can focus on it better take these crystals to the side as well so seven seed beads going through all of them and i'm going to go through the first three one more time now i'm i'm at this point i'm going to go ahead and pick up a crystal and i'm going to go ahead and go follow my thread path around go through the next three seed beads so our little crystal is just going to sit on the top like a little pico just shining it's they kind of like when we were doing this in the beat club the ladies were referring to as little christmas trees because i i kind of like they do look like little trees or little bobbly hats as well um i do i i, I love i love this right from here we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up so the same amount again so i'm just take a so i'm going to go ahead and pick up the next seven bead i'm going to repeat exactly the same what i'm doing Take these all the way down but this time like you can go through all of them again to give you a strong base but it could it would be enough just to go through the first three because we're going to be going backwards and forwards this very last row again and again when we're adding our clasp on now i went through the first three 
and then I'm going to pick up a crystal and come through the second three. There we go, and pull this up nice and tight. So again, I got my second little, second little bobbly hat or second little tree there. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this two more times. So I'm going to pick up seven, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take these down. And I'm going to come through from where my beadwork is, the first three. Now, when you're doing your first row, these can sort of flip up and down, but don't worry about that so much. When we get to the end, we, we're going to get them straight. I'm going to pick up a crystal and I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. One, two, three, four. Lucy's saying, I'm still here. Comments gone quiet. <laughs> Do let me know if you're still here. We're having problems with the internet, but it's not just me, I think. Um, I heard quite a few people complaining that um, the internet has been slower in the last couple of weeks. So just repeat it the same step one more time. Each time, make sure when you go through those three beads that you pull them right down to the base so these little hats or trees which are connected are quite close close together and sitting butt against of oh, ruth is saying we are here um then is saying tip it does take a lot of thread absolutely but we can add new thread later on right so i'm all the way down i got my first row however my little hats or trees, they are not facing the same way. So there's a couple of things you can do here. So you can either get another pin or another needle. I'm just going to grab, no, they, that might be quite thick. I'm just going to grab another needle. I just dropped all my needles. <laughs> I have to take this one. This one is a little bit curved, but it doesn't matter. So there's a little trick you could do. I quite like to just go through just the bottom seed bead or every single one of those hats, because then I can take my hats or trees and I can pull them together and I got something to all hold on to to keep them nice and straight. You only have to do this for the first row just to make it a little bit easier for you. Right, so we're going to have to go weave our thread up all the way to the top and we're going to come out of this crystal here to be able to add our next row. So actually I'm just going to pull this needle out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the bottom. I'm going to go through the very last but on the inner side. Maybe we do need that needle back in so you can see it better. I, I, I kind of like, I know where I'm going, but I really want you to see where we are going. So just pop this needle back in. This is, this can be a hat pin. This could be anything. Right, there we go. So <laughs> there, what's happening today in this game out on the other end? Right, come on. Okay, so this is why when you better to use a hat pin because it's not gonna fall off on the advent. So I'm gonna go up on the inner side of the very last unit. All three beads. And then I'm gonna come through the crystal on the top just like that. So in the first row, we were picking up seven seed beads. On the next row, we're going to reduce this down to six because we no longer need that very bottom um, seed bead there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up six seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And as I'm exiting out of this crystal here, I'm going to come through this crystal one more time from the opposite end. So I'm exiting to the right. So I'm going to come from the left and go through that crystal. You need more coffee. Absolutely. I think I've got two sips left. So let, let's take a sip right now. Maybe half a sip left. There we go. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to go up in the first three. So I'm still just following my thread around. Once we got this row on, it will be easier to see what we doing. Let me just actually, I know what's happening in my hand. There we go. That's that's better. I'm keep moving my hand up and up and up, but um, I had to move the camera position yesterday because I was doing some videos. Right, so I am going to pick up another crystal and I'm just going to go straight down on the other side, the three seed beads we just added, just like that, and pull this up. So now we have got a unit sitting on top of a unit. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another six bead. I'm exiting out of the inner side of this very last unit. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up four, five, my six bead. And I'm going to go into the next unit, but I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to have to come back around. So I'm going to do the same, like I'm going to come from the left, the same as I did here. So I'm going to come through the left, pull this up. There we go. And then we got the start of our next circle. So from here, we're going to find a point where we started adding the beads and we're going to go through the first three beads again in the same direction you've just been through to pull this up. And with that, we are creating our second little unit. And I'm going to go and take a crystal and come down on these three. I do like to sort of flip flop and I do like to move my work around so it's easier for me to stitch in and out. There we go and then we're going to repeat the same thing again. But before I go that I want to pull this tighter. I don't want these gaps so I don't want to see any thread there so I'm going to just grab onto the crystal and I'm going to just pull the crystal up a little bit, which is tighten up my unit. Then I'm going to place my thumb over the seed beads and pull the crystal in. So I got a nicer and tighter finish. So again, I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. And I'm going to come back towards my row on the next crystal. Then I'm going to go up. To the first three I just added. One, two, three, I added seven. What's going on? I can't even count now. Quickly back up, back up, reverse stitching. There we go, that's right. <laughs> you have to back up, come back up to that crystal. And then we're going to go into the first three bead. I can't even. Count to six this morning. What's going on? Right, I'm going to pick up a crystal. Pauline's saying seems very difficult to me. No, don't worry. Once we get past this second row and you can see more like it, it, it sits together, it's going to be easier. I'm going to go through another two or three rows so you will see exactly what you need to do. And I'm adding my very last one now. And then I can take that needle out so I no longer have to be afraid that I'm going to prick myself, <laughs> which it does happen quite often in my house. And I'm going to go up through the first three. So you are kind of working with circles going round and round, joining them, coming back on yourself. Just adding this last crystal. There we go. 
Right, then I'm, then I'm going to have to turn around. I'm going to turn my work around. And I just got a little knot on my thread. Can we just pull this out? Right, take that needle out. So I no longer have to be afraid. And pull this up nice and tight. There we go. So now I'm going to turn my work around. So my thread is exiting right down here as well. And again, same as the first row, what we need to do, we need to weave our thread up, sort of kind of step up. So we are ready to add the next row. So my facing downwards on this very last unit, I'm going to go in through the crystal and pull this up nice and tight. I'm going to go up the inner side of this unit and then come through the crystal itself as well. So we are working out from the crystals. There we go. So now we've got something to hold on to. Our ends are not flipping about. It's just my thread getting knotty. Being a bit stroppy this thread this morning. <laughs> and then coming out of the crystal unit and we are ready to start our next rows. Kimberly Singh uses a lot of thread, absolutely. Christmas colour would look really nice with green seed beads and red and gold crystals. Ooh, that would look really, really good, Susan. Um, I think we're gonna have to have to try that to have to try that um, towards Christmas. Can we make less row? Yes, you could. So if you just wanted to, you could just do three of them. Right. Okay. So starting a new row. So have pay, pay, pay attention now. So have, have a look because now we've got something to hold on to and it's going to look so much clearer. So I'm going to pick up six seed beads. So in the very first row, we picked up seven. And after that, you're always picking up six seed beads. I'm exiting out of this very last crystal. I'm exiting <laughs> I'm exiting towards me. So I'm going to come from the other side, exiting towards the bottom. I'm going to come from the top and I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to go up. I'm going to follow my thread around into the first three seed beads. I'm going to pick up a crystal. I'm going to add my crystal on by going through the next three seed beads. So we just done a loop here and added and done an extra loop and added a crystal in the middle. I'm going to pick up six seed beads again, all the way down. I'm always picking up six seed beads and I have to go into my next crystal, but I'm going to come, I'm going to do the same motion as I did this very first unit. I'm going to come back towards myself. I'm coming back towards my row, my work, and I'm going to pull this up and I'm now I'm going to go back. So I'm going to turn this into a loop. I'm going to go back into the first three seed beads. What I have just added. Pull this up nice and tight, pick up a crystal and go down on the next three. The start is always tricky on on most projects. Absolutely. Sometimes you can get away and, and they are a little bit easier. But um, until but what is it until you have something to hold on to, you have some beadwork to hold on to. Um, that's when um, you kind of like trying to hold. I just I just feel like I'm, I'm covering all up and, and I'm putting the and you can't really see like what you're doing. But once it starts to take shape you will be away with it there we go and i'm going to come through the first three again just like that and pull this up nice and tight if you got a question please put a cue in front of your question so i can very easily identify it i'm going into the second three Uh, Diane is saying she did one with gold, red and green crystals. So Diane, you know what you need to do? You need to pop that picture into the handmade group and actually send me as well because I'm not sure if I've seen it. Coming back towards myself again, always coming back towards myself. 
and then going up to the first three seed beads to complete my circle, picking up a crystal and then coming down on the second three. And I'm going to turn my work. So from the top, I'm just going to turn it around. My thread is at the bottom again, and then I'm repeating the same steps going all the way up. So as I'm exiting down the bottom here, first I need to weave my thread all the way up to this crystal because we are always working into the crystals. So I've gone through the crystal at the bottom, I'm coming up on the side, in the inner side, and then I'm coming out through the crystal. Shall, we, shall I do another row? Do let me know in the comments if you want me to beat and talk you through another row. And um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the clasp. Last half a slip coming, all coffee is gone. I need a coffee delivery. Do they deliver coffee actually? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do want me to do another row. And I just by, while you're doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and catch up with the comments. I think it was our first beat club question. I think it was the the, the second, the third. I I think um, yeah, it, it was definitely November last year. Can we sing use a lot of thread? Absolutely. The start of tricky heavy. I have some red crystals. So definitely trying this. Uh, yes, please do another row. Another row, thanks. Yes, more, please. Yeah, go on, do another row. Um. Could it be the larger crystals? Yes, you could do it with larger crystals and larger seed beads as well. You just kind of like don't want to overpower it because don't forget you're coming out of the seed beads and, and picking up the crystal afterwards. So you're going to see a lot of thread showing. But like, you know, we could um, cover the thread up with some extra seed beads and bits of pieces. So there is so many different things you could do with this, this stitch that um, it, it really makes this beautiful lace-like structure. How wide is the finished bracelet? It's about an inch, but I'll grab the, my ruler just in a sec. Right, let's grab it right now. So it's, yeah, it's just under an inch, a row. Well, Diane said photo sent. Um, I see if I I do another row, and then I see if I can grab it and show it to you all. I just need to log into Messenger on the computer. There we go. Coming down through the second three, then I'm in the position to picking up my next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I'm coming back on this crystal towards myself. And then going up through the first three seed beads just added. So going away from myself. Pull this up nice and tight, picking up a crystal and down on the second three. Picking up six seed beads. They are Toho size 11. And then I'm going to come down towards my, myself. And I'm going to go away from myself into the first three seed beads. Picking up a crystal and then coming down on the second three. Again, picking up six seed beads. It's kind of like pattern repeat, coming back towards myself through that very last crystal on the next unit. Going away from myself into the first three seed beads from added from the unit I just completed towards the new unit. Pull this up nice and tight and then I'm going to go ahead and add the crystal to the top. And there we go. 
um, at the end of the row and I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to follow my thread path all the way around. So I'm coming out of this last crystal, the top one. Then he's saying it took her an evening to do one and then start the next. Come on thread, I looped it over here. So I, I so love the look of these. I love to do like, I know it's like, I don't really use diaries that much, but I love to do a diary with perhaps the front of this cover did with this stitch because I just find it really, really pretty. Or, or like, you know, just dress up something. Like we could use so many different, just grab, I think there's, a, I, I made a little knot. I would just like, wanted to show you like how to step up. I'm just gonna pull back on this thread. I just don't wanna pull on it too much. What did I do? How did I manage this? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's right. I never like to leave my thread knotty. So like, even though, like if I get a big knot and all I want to do is walk away from my beadwork, <laughs> I never walk away until I unknotted it. Right, so that's our other row run. And you're going to keep going backwards and by like turning around and doing it again and again and again and again until you get your desired length. Sheila is saying it's so comfortable to wear absolutely because it's very soft. It gives you a very, very soft fabric and um, like, you know, they're quite thin as well. So if you look at it from the side, so it kind of feels like just nothing really on your skin and, and they really do look beautiful. You have missed one, um, Diane is saying. What did I miss? No, I didn't, I didn't miss a bead. It, it looped around the last unit. Right, okay, so photo sent. Let's very quickly look at the photo that Diane sent so I can show it to you. And at the same time, then I'm going to grab my class and I'm going to show you how to attach that at the bottom. Right, there we go go picture is just coming in just copying over i'm popping it into my program there we go that looks really really beautiful and very very effective with gold gold seed beads and red and green crystals i love it i think it's it's just so beautiful i think something about it just really like you know a very i love lacy stitches and i love like pattern repeat font Sudan is saying, just giving it a go, what a fun stitch. I couldn't imagine how it worked from the pictures. Yeah, it's like sometimes things look like more difficult, but they actually are, but it's quite easy to do it. So you would continue this all the way down until you get to the other end. But I'm going to show you how to attach the clasp on this end. Because it is... <laughs> It is a one-way stitch. So you're going to start here and you're going to go all the way down. Right, I'm going to grab... Oh, I, have, I have to pick up my needles now. <laughs> the ones that dropped all on the floor. There we go. My, my little mouse is with all the needles sticking out. Right, I'm just going to thread this end. So every single time when you're adding a clasp to your beadwork, like I, I'll, I can do clasp and 10 times and do them 10 different ways because it doesn't really matter how, kind of how you stitch it together, what matters that you sit, just sit, sit it down next to your beadwork, just push it up there, butt it against it and just stop for a second and have a look how is that behaving? Where are the loops meeting those seed beads? Because as these clasps are quite regular, 
but the loops can be further up or further down. They could be closer together or, or apart and color from color. They can be smaller or larger. So for example, I got a rose gold one here. I'm just gonna grab, grab out. So these ones are, if I pop this next to it, can you see? the loops come up just a tiny bit shorter so instead of worrying about so much what i like you know following you know what like the same method every single time just pop it there and have a look so i can see because i got four bottoms there and i got three loops i'm going to be able to stitch in as i go along on all of these seed beads right of those bottom seed beads what we have there with my with my with my, the loop on my clasp so there's a couple of different ways you can do it as we are kind of like coming out of this very last seed bit so this is our tail end i'm going to turn this around so it's on my right hand side um, i'm going to go through this seed bead right at the bottom then i'm going to go through the loop on the clasp I'm going to come back up. I can either, so I can either just weave it down. I could just go and weave it down into those seed beads, or I can run up and down on, on the units themselves. So I'm just coming out of that last one. I'm going to come back on myself. And just pull it up nice and tight so i just i just turned my thread path around then i'm gonna go up in the first unit come down and i think i cut my tail end a bit too short but i think we'll be fine so i just came down i'm gonna go through this loop again and then i'm gonna go up into the second unit turning around, coming back down, then going through the next loop. It doesn't matter if you go back to front or front to back. And then going up on the side of the third unit. My hands, <laughs> weren't in shot, weren't I? I am so sorry. You're gonna have to have like, a, I don't know, a shouting button at me or something that um, if my hands go down I need to reposition the camera because usually like it's a golden rule that you have to put your hand down on the table and then where, where that ends up you need to point your camera there right okay so I came up on the next unit I'm going back down and then I'm going through the last loop and there we go and then I'm going to come back up. I'm going to come back up to the very single seed bead. I'm going to come to the top just for a sec. And then I'm going to pop it down on my mat. So now my loops are secured to my beadwork. Now I would go, I could go back and redo this again just to make it stronger because this is where you're going to be tugging the most on your bracelet as you're pulling it apart and and putting it on taking it off so i do like i i usually like to go two or three times just really really reinforce it and then what i love love doing is to add another row of seed beads to the top there just to cover up those uh, <laughs> cover up cover up those naughty loops on my on my beadwork so there's a couple of different ways that how you can do this and depending on what end you are it's going to be slightly different so let me just show you the made up sample here so you can see as we are coming out of the last one i fill the gap in between those very last seed beads and then add an extra row onto the top on both ends, this end it's a little bit different because we got the crystals right there. Okay, so let's go and weave our thread around. I'm gonna sometimes if you you might need to go up so you can come back down and turn your thread direction, or like if you were sewing it all the way back, 
then we would be facing in the right direction. Right, so I'm going to have to go back again and go through my loops here. And there we go. And I'm going to have to sew it one more time so because mine, I was facing the wrong way. So I'm just going to pop in and go through the loops again, strengthening the connection. There we go, right down at the bottom, coming through the last loop. And then I'm going to go up the inner side of this very last unit. Oh, I don't want to stitch underneath, I want to stitch on the top. And then we're just going to come down the side. And we're going to go into this first seed bead. Now, again, depending on, this is the bottom seed bead, depending on how big are the gaps, you need to pick up a cup, two or three seed beads. I'm going to pick up two and then just go through the next one at the bottom. There we go. Picking up another two and go through the next bottom seed beads. And with that one, we're just covering up the seed beads, the, the loops <laughs> with the seed beads. Picking up another two and I'm just going to wiggle this very last one and go through this as well. There we go. So that's going to give us a nicer and neater edge to our beadwork. So you, we won't be able to see the loop so much. Now if you want to do, you could turn around and add an extra loop on the top as well. Um, again, I would just weave my thread around and just come out of this, perhaps this last seed bead and just add maybe six, seven, eight seed beads, how many I need to fill even more gap if I wanted to. Like on this one, there is a, another extra row on there at the top. So it's really it's up to you how much you want to cover this up. Could you use crystals so they sit between the loops on the clubs? Absolutely. You could do so many different things. I actually like seeing the loops. Yeah, like it'd be all different. Like I, I, I'm always like, oh, I want to cover them up. I don't want to see the loops. I don't want to see the mechanics of the class. But um, they, they can be quite decorative as well. They can be, they can be quite cute um, to, to see as well. Oh, thank you so much for the star, Sheila. Really, really appreciate it. Right, I'm just gonna catch up with your comments very quickly. And Mina was asking if you can make less rows. Yes, I answered that one. So you can just start off with three units or equally you could start off with more units if you wanted to. And Pauline Singh would love to make this bracelet. We'll watch video again before I decide. Yeah, have once I've finished, have a look from the beginning because it's a really easy stitch, but it's it's one of those stitches which is kind of like needs a light bulb moment. And uh, but once you get it, it's really, really easy. Um, but like we've done it in a bead club as well um, with all the ladies and, and it is a beautiful stitch, a really, really nice. Let me just show you on this one gives you a really nice lacy effect. Uh, I just really do love it. It's something different. Some Something like this, you would look at it and like, oh no, that's too difficult. And it isn't. But um, the first couple of rows can be a little bit tricky, but once you get started, then you will be fine. I think I'll be making a few colors. Yeah, absolutely right. So let me just zoom out. I'll then come back here zoom out so i can quickly show you some of the other colorways don't forget simon has given us a really good discount on this one today so do grab it right wrong wrong mouse there we go so instead of six pound they are five pound 40 or six fifty instead of 650 they're 585 so they do have they have got 10 percent off of them at the moment so five pound 40 you can make a beautiful bracelet right and 
like this is my size but if you, if you are smaller <laughs> then perhaps you can get more out of it so let me zoom out a little bit so i can bring them all in because this is all thank you for diane all, all her hard work doing all of these beautiful samples we got mauves we got that's the pink lilac we got so many beautiful color eyes i love i love the black diamond which is this one something like this like you just want to sit there and you just want to make them up and you just you just want to sit there and look at them but it's definitely a very lacy structure very very fluid the midnight one i love i really do love as well so here you can see how much are the crystals are sparkling and they are sparkling more and more because the seed beads are matte so the shine is all on the crystals we got our rose gold got this beautiful silver monochrome tanzanite like there's not even enough space on my mat to put them all out i really do do love them they're so beautiful um the kit comes with instructions so i have um changed the instructions and they come with fresh instructions so even if you have done it in the beat club this is gonna be like you you know what to do if you're done it in a beat club but if you're not if you don't and you want to get one of these the kits come with fresh instructions including the crystals and all the parfaits and 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 illustrations what you need to do. let me just move that down there we go that's like look look at all those i just want to sit here all morning and just just look at them <laughs> like I, I definitely was a magpie in a previous life um victoria sing order teal and black diamond you're doing a Lucy. <laughs> I don't know. Is that me? <laughs> Question: How do you finish on the free, uh, on the uh, crystal and Victoria saying? So it's all in the instructions. It's coming the instructions. It's quite similar, but instead of like having the bottom seed beads, you are going through the crystals again and again and again. <laughs> this is saying all oh, the colors are stunning i'll have one of each please lucy but be careful what you wish for because i might just send them to you <laughs> you've been such lovely um that, that you've been helping out so much i love the midnight ones who is saying i love the midnight one as well right okay so um natalie's gonna be with you on friday and i'm gonna be back on and actually quickly i'm gonna go ahead and show you so we have been no, i moved the tray again the, the creation station is back on sundays now but first let me just tell you what like natalie is doing on friday so she's going to be making an, her, a heart pendant and earrings they are look really really beautiful so do do tune in for that one a slightly easier easier technique but it will be um not just pins and turning pins and you know all of those things but it will make a really beautiful and she's gonna do a little wrapping on there she's gonna add her personal little touch to the top bless her so do tune in on for that one friday because it's gonna be a great one right i'm back with creation station on sunday and i very quickly i'm gonna pop back to the website and show this to you so we done like creation station from saturdays it's moved to sunday at 7 p.m uk time and what we do is um I'm gonna pop back to the main page i'm going to show you so i have put a par puka bundle together so again categories you're going to go into creation station this time and this is this has its own life so what we do in creation station we just get together and we design like bits of pieces together we've done pendants we've done bracelets we've done necklaces all sorts of different things and going back you can even go back to the june one um the videos are posted there the bundles are still there now for this is what i'm doing september october and i need to uh, i need to remotely and to update the the picture on that one so september october i'm doing the same bundle because what i wanted to do have i want to play with parpuka beads and i wanted to put all 15 different 
part book a bit in there um, in the pack and um, we're going to be playing with it for the next six Sundays I believe we got left in September October so every single Sunday from 7 p.m for a couple of hours we're just going to sit down and play with the beads last this Sunday just gone we just played with the tail speeds and um, like we're adding um, samos and other bits of pieces in there but we're going to be continuing working on it i have had some pictures coming back so i know you played with it as well and showed me some really good one but do check one that that one out this is the bundle is on 30 percent off which is for park beads that's like kind of like unheard of like you don't don't really get 30 percent off on park beads but um is so do check it out so if you can then you can join in on every single sunday and for september october and we're going to be playing with these beads so do check that one out as well so thank you so much for watching and I'll natalie is going to be with you on friday i'm going to be with you on my channel on sunday um details to follow on that one that's on my youtube channel which is kids robinson designs um i'll, I'll i can only do it to one channel because like i can't restream it the problem is that the comments stops coming in after a while and then like i don't know what platform and who's saying what so with that one when i'm doing a longer live i tend to do it to just one channel which is um, going to be mine kitty robinson designs on sunday at 7 p.m uk time so i'll see you there other than that have a beautiful week and the sun is shining so i think i'm going to go and go a quick walk around the block or wander down to the sea and i'll see you very very soon bye